Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Amber Kulik with 31 Triple Doppler. Well, Amber, you might have a little trouble getting your daily cup of Starbucks today. Yeah, yeah, pretty sad about that. I love Red Cup Day. <laughs> Maybe you'll still get a chance. Maybe so, but hey, the weather today, it's going to be nice. You may not need that hot coffee this afternoon because it's going to be a little warm. <laughs> Let's go ahead and dive into that forecast. Here's a look across the area on our Weight 31 Sky Cam Network, and things are still dark and quiet this morning. Now, you won't need that umbrella as you head out the door this morning because we're staying dry through the rest of Thursday, but I am tracking some changes as we head into Friday, so your umbrella will get at least one day of a break. Current temperature across the Tennessee Valley. It's 54 right now in Scottsboro, 55 in Gunnersville, 57 in Decatur. It's 59 over in Muscle Shoals, so a nice mild start to your Thursday morning. If you're taking the pup for a walk over the next couple of hours here, we're staying in the 50s all the way through 8 a.m., but as we head into the afternoon hours today, temperatures will warm up in a big way. We're looking at about 74 for our high in Huntsville, even Scottsboro and Athens, 73 in Decatur and Mul this afternoon, so we're going to get that weather whiplash because 70s today, but I'm tracking a cold front that's going to cool us off just in time for the weekend. So if you like the 70s, enjoy this afternoon. Now another play -er in our weather story today will be the winds because it's going to be gusty once again by the morning time hours. We're looking at gusts as high as 21 miles per hour for some of the area. And this is just your friendly reminder. We still have that burn ban, so don't be burning anything. Winds continue to stay gusty through about midday, and then we'll start to watch those winds die off a little bit as we head into the evening hours tonight. Now 31 triple Doppler is quiet and dry this morning, staying dry through the rest of the day today. And as we head into the afternoon hours, we'll get to see that sunshine. That's going to help warm those temperatures into the 70s. Now as we move into the overnight hours, clouds will return to the Tennessee Valley, staying dry through most of the morning time tomorrow. But you're going to need that umbrella as you head out the door because I am tracking at least a few showers by late morning into the afternoon hours tomorrow. And a couple of those showers could stick around through the time that we kick off for those football games tomorrow evening. So you may need that umbrella as well. Now, if you're headed out to Albertville tonight for the Thanksgiving Christmas parade, we have got a great evening ahead of us. We'll be in those 60s, nice and comfortable, dry conditions, so you can't beat it. If you are traveling next week, though, I still have my eye on Monday and Tuesday because that's when we'll see our chance of storms. Now, Wednesday through Friday, look Looking really good for travel plans, but this is what I'm watching for early next week. An area of low pressure will bring a cold front through the Tennessee Valley. Rain is likely and storms are possible, but right now the severe threat is looking low. But make sure you keep checking back with us as we get closer to Monday and Tuesday for the latest on the system, especially if you're traveling during that time. Over the next 10 days, weather whiplash for sure. We're in the 70s the next two days. Cold front moves through tomorrow, and that's going to put us in the 60s for the weekend. And Thanksgiving's looking a little on the chilly side in those 50s, but I'm okay with getting to wear a sweater because you wear the oversized sweater. It gives yeah. you a reason to eat more food. So. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you don't got to feel bloated or anything. You can just be happy in your giant sweater. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Amber.